This is a tail of uh, four Category 1 three-point top links. You only see three of them here because uh, the other one I gave away to a neighbor. The reason for this video is to show the shamelessly weak, useless, lousy three-point link that my neighbor got with a tractor that he recently bought, a John Deere 4210 I might add. And uh, we put a back blade on the thing and put this top link on it and uh, it broke. And I don't know if you can see here or not, but this end here just cracked right off. And I don't know if you can, if this will focus correctly or not, but you can see the threads actually coming right through right through the metal this the wall of this tubing is so thin that the threads actually came right through the metal and and and, and cracked this thing right there and on the other end right there what a piece of junk and so when i went looking to replace it I was thinking, gee whiz, why don't we just get one like one of these? This one I think I bought in probably 1974, and this one I probably bought in about 1981 or 82. And do you see any similarity between them? No. Look at the thickness of that tubing. You know, it's got a, like a quarter inch wall, and that stuff is uh, like l lucky to be 30 a 32nd of an inch thick. So I went looking for a better one of these and, and I couldn't find anything like this new. They just don't seem to make them. But I was able to find one that looked like this and only it had twice as thick a tubing wall. And bought that for the neighbor and put that on his tractor and I'm sure it'll be fine. So that's the fourth one, the one that's already on his tractor and it isn't here looks just like that except the wall is is uh, twice as thick on the tubing so I think it'll probably be fine anyway interesting these guys here you know are 40 50 years old and they only have a three-quarter inch thread whereas that one and the new one that I haven't got here has a one and an eighth inch thread so uh, this one I use mostly of its life on my 8N Ford tractor, which is only 22 horsepower, something like that. And But I've really beaten it to death. This one here, uh, the, the, the reason this end looks funny is because I had to adapt it to fit on my Case 800 diesel, which is a 60 horse tractor. And, uh, and that one, I mean, I have, I have really lifted and pulled and what have you with everything imaginable, using up all 60 horsepower sometimes, and, and it hasn't done anything bad. So I guess I can only assume that these links, the threaded links on, on both of these models here, are just a lot stronger material uh, uh, than, uh, than is probably on there why they had you know maybe that's why they went to an inch and an eighth so they could use cheaper steel I don't know but boy that baby sure just failed and it failed in less than 10 minutes of use from being brand new so that's my quick story I don't know what to tell you except that you want to look carefully at the wall thickness uh, this the one that I bought to replace this I only paid 22 bucks for in a farm store Okay, and so you probably can't read this stuff, but what I want to tell you is the the shank right here, the shank thickness or oh, the, the shank outer diameter is 1.270 on the one I bought, whereas it's only 1.230 on this one, and so I think it's worth measuring because that extra 40 thousandths is going to make all the difference, especially since you can't seem to buy this kind anymore for Category 1. So that's my sad story. If you've got one of these, good luck.
maybe you're never going to work it very hard, but uh, uh, if you're really going to use up all the horsepower of your 22 horsepower on the wheels, John Deere 4210, you need something better than that.